Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to another video with Exercise for All. So today it's gonna to be a bit of a freestyle, so it's gonna be chair-based exercise. So do grab yourself a chair that hasn't got any arms, pre uh, preferably, um, or as long as you've got enough space. If you're doing this within a group setting in one of the homes, then just make sure you've got enough space, you've got your sort of arms width apart, okay? Because we will be doing some arm exercises, leg exercises. We're basically gonna be working our whole body but I haven't planned this whatsoever. So it's gonna be completely off the cuff and we're just gonna see how we get on. It's gonna probably take about 10 minutes, full body workout, chair-based exercise. So let's get straight into it. Okay, first exercise. Let's start by starting sitting up nice and straight in our chairs, making sure you've got that good working position and just come away from the back of your chair slightly. We don't wanna be sitting too far back. So just come forwards, hip walk to the first front third of your chair and let's start just by twisting and turning to each side, okay, so it's as easy as that. So you just turn and twist. We're working those core muscles, but we're mainly just warming them up. These first few exercises will just get us into the session. So it's a turn, like so. Bring your arms up a little bit, that's gonna help you twist. Back to the center, and then the other way. Okay, good. Right, arms up nice and high. So a bit of a pulse raiser to begin with. Okay, and try to get your arms, your hands to meet each other at the top in the middle. So we're just getting our blood pumping around our body. That's it. Warming ourselves up a little bit before we get going with some of the, the proper exercises. Okay, a couple more if we can. Arms might start to feel a little bit heavy. Let's go for one more. Good, fantastic. Right, arms down. Legs, let's get these working. I'm gonna shuffle back so you can definitely see what I'm doing. And let's just do a few leg swings. And from the side, you'll be able to see that I'm giving them a really good extension, nice and straight on the knee, just like so. Imagine you're kicking something or someone. Okay, good. 10 of these, so 10 on each leg, halfway there already. If I'm going a little bit too quick, take this at your own pace. You can always sit out for a few minutes, have a cup of tea, but try and do as much as you can. Okay, like I said, none of this is planned today. It's completely off the cuff. We're just gonna see how we get on some good chair-based exercise for you. So, we're gonna keep working those legs. Let's bring your knees up if we can, like so. So, a bit of marching, but slow it down to begin with. We'll do some proper marching in just a moment. So, knees up one at a time. Fantastic. Now, if you're wearing trousers, this exercise would be a lot better. For those of you in skirts, you might wanna give this one a miss. It's your knee up, and then out, in, and down. So what that does is open up your groin, start working those muscles around your hips, knee up, out, in, down. And we normally, these exercises normally relate to a movement that we do in sort of everyday life. And I know at the moment no one's really getting in and out cars or taxis, but if you can imagine bringing your foot out, that's the sort of movement that you do when you get out of a car or a taxi. So just imagine that's the feel that we're going for and that's, that, that's how this movement is gonna help you in everyday life. So it's knee up, out, in, down. If you can't go as far wide as what I'm going, you can just bring it out ever so slightly, back in and down, okay? Up, out, in, down. Let's go for a few more. Let's really focus on the technique. Bring your knee up, nice and, nice and tall, outwards. Keep supporting that weight in and down, so the slower the better, that's what we're saying here everyone. Up, out, in, down, and again, up, out, in, down. Let's go for one more on each side, are we ready? Up, out, in, down. So you might start to feel a bit of a stretch, like I said, around the hips, but it's also really, really good to strengthen those muscles. Up, out, in, down, perfect. Now, if you can, we wanna be sitting on the front third of our chair like we were, we're gonna reach down and try to touch those toes. It's a really long way to go. And I know the camera's not picking up whether I'm touching my toes or not, but I promise you I am. And then come back up. And I'll show you this from the side because we're gonna do this a few times. Take it really, really slowly. Okay, if you can't get that low, it's fine. But as you reach down, as you can see, my back is staying as straight as it can. I'm not arching it. And then back up, okay? So it is okay to round your back a little bit, but do try to keep it fairly straight as we go down. And if it does start to bend, that's fine. 
Our spine allows us to bend. So let it do that work. Okay, let's go for two more toe touches. So with both hands, good. If you can only get down to your shins or your ankles, that's good enough. It's whatever your mobility is like. All of these are can be differentiated and just basically suited to your ability. So let's go for one more reaching down and coming up. Now that might be harder for some of you than others. Okay, just to mix things up a little bit, I'm gonna just give you a diagonal sort of angle here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going down and touching the opposite foot and then with my other hand, touching the opposite foot as well. So it's right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. So it's more of a dynamic movement this time. We're not going down with both, it's just one at a time, one hand and touch, the other hand and touch. So there's a bit of a twisting element. We're having to work these core muscles now as we go down. Good, and we're starting to slowly build the intensity with these exercises, which is great. Okay, and the other, fantastic. Good, so let's go for one more on each side. There's one and there's two. Oh, I'm getting a little bit out of breath. So. We'll do one, uh, one exercise with our arms, I think, and then we'll go back to some marching and start to build up the intensity again. So as we were earlier, we had our arms out to the side like this. We're not gonna do up this time, we're actually gonna come inwards, okay? And by doing that, you're working the top of your back, okay, you might feel those muscles start to tighten. So in and out, and we're also working our chest muscles as well, so our pectorals, Okay, upper body, it's a really good upper body exercise. Bring your arms out and in. Let's go for the golden number, let's go for 10, shall we? Halfway there already. And out, as you can see my arms, they're nice and wide, elbows are nice and high. In, and then out. So really good to get those shoulders working too. You start to explore the range of motion in your shoulders. I can feel the muscles at the top of my back working, which is great. Okay, let's go for two more. One, okay, and two, fantastic. Right, so, giving your arms a bit of a rest, let's return to the legs, let's just do some basic marching, and if you want, you can swing your arms a little bit, just to burn a few more calories, but you're just starting to build that intensity back up. If you feel a little bit tired, then just like we did earlier, really slow movement, and any movement is good, that's what we're trying to, that's what we're trying to encourage here, just any movement. So, getting those knees up, Continue to march. Good, well done everyone. Let's hope that we don't have to do this for too much longer behind a camera, looking at a computer screen, looking at a TV screen, and it'll be so good when it's to finally do some exercises in the flesh and using some equipment too. Okay, fantastic, keep going. Good, five more seconds. This is probably one of the longest exercises that we're doing, but I really want you to benefit from building that intensity slightly. Three, two, one, and relax. Fantastic. Right, let's start to explore our joints a little bit. So, shoulders. We did work them just now when we were doing this, but let's actually start to move them, and I'm gonna demonstrate this from the side and a little bit closer so you can really, really see. So, sitting up straight for this one, because we wanna emphasize the movement in our shoulders only. Now, my hands are staying firmly on my lap, okay? So let's really think about technique. This is something that you can do in your own time. It's nice and easy. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears and then round the back, okay? So you can feel your shoulder blades moving. Up and then round. Good, so you're doing a nice big circle. Up and round. Now, if you do want to change direction, don't worry if you lose a little bit of posture. That's quite normal. We're going to go up and then forwards, okay? Up and forwards. So you've got the two different directions there. Nice and easy. You've got backwards motion, forwards motion. And as you can see, my hands are staying on my lap the whole time. I'm not doing this or that. Keep them still and that way you isolate this part of your body. We're working our shoulders, remember, not our arms. So let's go for this for sort of 10 more seconds. Let's really focus on this. Hands in your lap, shoulders back. Let's go for five repetitions on that. Really nice and slowly. Okay, and then the other, the other direction. So this is something that you can do really when you wake up in the mornings, you might feel a little bit stiff in your upper back where you've been laying for a long time. There we go, fantastic. Now just to loosen up the surrounding muscles, of course, 
we've done the joints, but we've got lots of muscles around and around our shoulders um, up towards our neck. So all I want you to do is keep that posture. We're just going to turn to the side with our neck only. Okay, so just imagine you're trying to look over your shoulder, back to the centre, and then go the other way. Good. Okay, so not so much of a an aerobic exercise. You know, these last couple of exercises have been quite a low intensity, but really, really good. Really good to focus on these muscles, these muscles, these joints, to help improve your range of motion. Back to the centre, and the other way. That's it. Okay, so let's just now look up. Fantastic, back to the centre, slowly looking down. Good, and let's just repeat that once more. So up. That's it, nice and high so you can feel your neck stretching. Back to the centre and then slowly down. And then back up. So really light movements, but really important, especially in the mornings, I'd advise doing those shoulder um, rotations and also the neck movements. Just try and make sure it's all nice and slow. You take your time doing it, maybe sort of five or so minutes in the morning and it should help you just feel a little bit more supple around your upper body um, throughout the day. So let's get into a few more exercises and then we're all done. Let's return to our legs. So quite a difficult one here. I'm gonna to have to probably sit quite far back so you can see what I'm doing. I'm putting one leg out, okay? My heel is on the floor and my toes are pointing up like that, okay? But they, my, my heel is on the ground. This, my other leg is bent, as you can see, and I'm just gonna reach down, okay? I'm not coming any further forward, so I'm not putting myself at risk. Do stay on these chairs, and I'm just seeing how far I can reach. Now, I don't think many people will be able to reach their toes. If you can, you're extremely flexible. Um, you should start to feel this pull in on the back of your leg. So this is just a good flexibility exercise. Okay, working that very tight muscle you've got running up at the back of your leg, your hamstring, okay? So let me repeat on the other side. I want to hold these stretches for about 10 seconds. Again, something you can include as part of your morning routine when you wake up. Okay, remember, toes pointing up for this one. You don't have to put your leg in the ground. You could just reach like this. But for a bit more support, rest your leg reach down and you should start to feel it really pull in, okay? If you feel like you can go a little bit further, there's something called a developmental stretch where you hold it for about five seconds, you then go a little bit further, you then go a little bit further, okay? But like I said, if you can reach your toes, you're extremely flexible, you probably don't need to be doing those stretches anyway, but well done. Right, let's work our groin, our hip flexor a bit. We're gonna bring one knee up and just bring it in, so use your hands to support your leg and just hold it like so, okay? So that's it, hold it there like that for a good 10 seconds as well. So finishing off with some nice stretches and then down. The other knee comes up, hold it there for about 10 seconds. And sometimes it's worth counting these as well. If you're doing them in your own time, 10 seconds can feel like a long time. If you're not counting, you might get it wrong. Okay, good. And then all the way down to our ankles. Just turn them like so. Doesn't matter if you're wearing shoes, socks, as you can see I'm doing it in my socks today, nice and easy. But just try to draw a circle with your toes, going round and round like that. And what that'll do is just start to increase a little bit more pliability within the joint. And if you've got fluid retention within your, 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 your feet, around your ankles, this will just help start to move some of that fluid. Um, a lot of the fluid retention can be a result of inactivity. So let's do... The other foot, round and round, try and go in both directions, so clockwise, anti-clockwise. That's fantastic. Now, we've done a little bit of everything today, and what I'd like to finish off with is a sit to stand, because this is something that you can do in your own time. And I did say at the beginning, have a chair that hasn't got arms on the side of it. However, if you're doing the sit to stand, you will need some arms on the side of your chair. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is something that you can do in your own time. We're gonna go through it today. Five repetitions we're gonna do. So just standing up, sitting back down. Just imagine that I have got um, arms on the side of my chair, okay? Also make sure you've got that frame in front of you so when you stand up, um, you're doing this safely. So let's start by having those feet hip width apart, okay? Use your arms to help push you up. Let's do this together, but do try to focus on the muscles in your legs helping push you up, okay? So nice straight back. Arms on the side, and up we go. 
Okay, and then just pedal those feet. Now, as you can see, I've actually come away from the chair a little bit, just naturally. So what I'm gonna do is just shuffle back so I can feel the chair on the back of my legs, use my hands to assist me on the side, and then sit back down, okay? It's as easy as that, and okay, it might not be that easy at the moment, but your legs are gonna get a lot stronger by doing this. A good way to build strength is by standing. It's, it's much easier to build strength standing up than it is sitting down, with, especially if we haven't got any equipment, okay? So we're gonna do that again. Five of these, do have a little rest in between if you need to. Arms on the side of your chair, push yourself up. Good. Little march to keep those legs moving, stop any uh, postural hypertension so you don't feel dizzy. Shuffle back, feel the chair on the back of your legs and sit. Down, right, three more. Come on, we've got this. Almost there. So shuffle forwards a little bit again so you're ready. Feet hip width apart. I'm sure you're getting used to the technique now. Remember, these are your strong muscles, so get your legs to work more than your arms. Your arms are just there to support you. Up we go. Hold on to your frame if you need to. A shuffle off the feet, bring your heels up. I'm not actually bringing my feet off the ground, I'm just picking my heels up, okay? Shuffle back and slowly sit down. Is that two more or one more? We're gonna do two more anyway, I've lost count. Right, shuffle forwards, are we ready? Arms on the side, let's stand up. Good, okay. A slow march, a pedal of the legs, of the heels, shuffle back, slowly, slowly sit down. Good, okay. We're gonna do one more standing up, and on the way down I'm gonna show you something a little bit different, okay? Just in case you wanna take this a little bit of a, a step further. So when you're ready, arms on the side, if you want to sit out of one of these, by the way, you can. Push yourself up. Fantastic. Pedal. Hold on to your frame. Fantastic. Now, as we start to sit down, remember, we're going to come back to the, the chair so we can feel it on the back of our legs. But we're going to slowly, slowly sit and try to spend about five seconds on the down phase. So we're going to do this together. You ready? So slowly start sitting. One, two, three. Use your arms if you need to support. Four, five, good. So don't want you actually throwing yourself back in the chair. We're getting, we're actually using that opportunity to sit down slowly and that will get us to work our legs even more so. So you might have felt a bit of a burn, a bit of warmth in your legs as you started to sit down there. You might not have actually been able to withstand the sort of the, the pressure um, and you might have been able to, you might have been able to get to about here and then just drop or come down a little bit quicker than what I did. The idea is to come down as slowly as you can so you really work these muscles, okay? So a complete variety of exercises there today. I hope you enjoyed it. The dog's just started barking downstairs so I better go and see what she wants. Um, but do join me in the next video which will probably be in a couple of weeks and I'll see you then.